the W.W. Greener Coach Gun. The Coach Gun used to be called the Cut Down Shotgun or Messenger's Gun. Back in the day, they did not get the attention they deserved. Back in the TV Western plague of the 50s, it got some screen time, but not what it deserved. The Coach Gun came from England in the early 17th century. There was also where Stoke Cage banditry originated. The Coach Gun was a blunderbuss, a brass-barreled smooth-bore flintlock. The Coach Gun got its name in the 1860s when Wells Fargo issued short-barreled 10- or 12-gauge black powder shotguns to its guard on stagecoaches carrying shipments, not passengers. As far as Wells Fargo was concerned, the passengers were on their own. It was the Wild West, after all. The gun exposed hammers and were manufactured by many gun manufacturers such as Remington, Ithaca, Park Colt, and L.C. Smith. However, the best ones were made by the British firm W.W. W. Greener. Sheriffs and marshals soon came to love the messenger guns. They understood that if a shootout were to happen, you would not use your handgun, much like law officers today. A lot of people were not phased when you point a pistol or a rifle at them, for they weren't so crass when it comes to shotguns. I'm willing to wager that many confrontations back in the day did not happen because someone brought shotguns. One confrontation that involved the use of a shotgun was that of the homicidal ex-dentist named Doc Holliday. At the OK Corral, he shot a thug named Tom McLaurie in the chest at point-blank range with his 10-gauge shotgun, resulting in a palm-sized wound. Wyatt Earp also killed an unfortunate fellow named Frank Stilwell using both barrels from a 10-gauge shotgun, possibly a greener, in an Arizona rail yard. Soon after, he waltzed through a hail of gunfire with the same gun to put an end to Curly Bill Broikus in a gunfight at Iron Springs. W.W. Greener opened up shop in 1829 and is still in business today. The messenger gun has evolved into a slide action and semi-auto riot gun. They have also made tactical shotguns as well. Regardless of these changes, it still remains effective to this day.